Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's movie review here. And today I'd like to review for you a season I just watched called Halo Season 1. This one was provided to me for review by CBS. If you get a chance to check this one out, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to include more information with the links to purchase one down in the description. So, full disclosure, I was a huge Halo fan. I was so into the games. Like, Halo 1 was my teenage years. I remember playing so much Halo 1, and I had so much fun on that game. And I, it's so iconic. And, um, you know, I played Halo 2. And I played Halo 3, I played Halo Reach, I played ODST, uh, I played that a little bit of that RTS one, but I was not very good at it. And then I don't think I played anything after Reach, so I didn't play Halo 4, I didn't play Halo 5, and I didn't play Halo Infinite. And I, I'm not sure if anything important from that is included in this, I don't think it is, but um, yeah, my knowledge pretty much ends at Halo Reach, and to be honest, I don't remember that game. Other than that... Uh, there were multiple Spartans in that where I think all the other games, they just pretty much just had the Master Chief. But this is actually a prequel to the game. And it's been so long since I played the original game. And to tell you the truth, I really want to go back and play that game. Uh, I can't I can't say for sure that the story makes 100% sense. You know how sometimes they, they kind of change things a little bit. But in this series, uh, Master Chief and a, a group of three other Spartans are um, trying to find these artifacts and the artifacts will lead them to the halo and i know in the first game the covenant they're looking for the halo and so maybe it makes sense but i just i i don't remember for sure if the unsc already knew about the halos when the first game started or not so like i said uh this primarily uh is about the spartans but also about the doctor who created the spartans now, I did read the Fall of Reach book, but this was like 20 years ago, so I don't remember a lot about it other than that it kind of went into um, how the Spartans were uh, made and, and kind of that kind of stuff. And so I feel like a lot of that is also in here, too, where they slowly reveal how this doctor kind of kidnapped these kids and did these genetic modifications on them and turned them into these super soldiers. And John, for whatever reason, he's kind of like the best and the most powerful and everybody loves him. And, and he's uh, the master chief and he's kind of humanity's greatest hope to win this war against the covenant. And the covenant is a group of aliens who have um, kind of agreed to work together for a common goal. And the people of Earth or the UNSC don't really know what it is, or but they're at war with them. And the very first episode, like, I love that one. It really hits it out of the park right away. There's so much action. And you see the, the elites. Uh, was it just the elites? I can't remember. And you see, like, some of the, the assault rifle. <laughs> you see the, the plasma pistol and the plasma, I think, you see the plasma rifle? I can't remember. But you just see a lot of the characters, or you see a lot of the species and the weapons, and it just feels so much like Halo. Unfortunately, after that first episode, there isn't a lot of action for quite a while, which was pretty disappointing because I feel like they really get you in there, they get you pumped, and it's like really service to the fans right away. You're like, I recognize all this stuff from the games, and it was so exciting because we've been being teased a Halo live action since Halo 3, that was, wasn't it? That had to have been 20 years ago or, or so now that we were teased a live action and it took this much time for it to come out. So so after this kind of battle the, the Master Chief has at the beginning, there's this girl who he saves, but it's kind of confusing because even though the Spartans show up to kill the Covenant, they don't really seem to care about the people who live there or saving them. And they don't really do a good job of saving him. And I guess they aren't there to save him, but he ends up saving this girl. And so he he's transporting her back and the UNSC wants to execute her. And he has to save her and kind of defy his orders and do the right thing. Now, now we have the, the Master Chief and really all the Spartans reveal their faces. Now, this was a big thing uh, in the games where... The Master Chief didn't show his face, and I don't I don't believe any of the Spartans ever showed their face. They always wore their helmets. You never knew what they looked like, and it kind of added to the mystique. 
they went a different, they, they definitely went a different route in this. Now, a friend of mine had told me how they do reveal the Master Chief's face, and I was like, okay, you know, all right. But it's like almost a joke. He, they start so many scenes with a picture of the helmet, and then you, they, <laughs> and then they pull back to show he's not wearing his helmet, and they show his face. And uh, he's a well-known actor. And so I get that they wanted to show him, but it becomes almost silly that none of them are ever wearing their helmets. And you're just like, okay, is this a joke that they always show their faces in the show, even the, <laughs> since they never did in the games? I don't know. I, I just kind of thought after a while, it didn't really make a lot of sense. What do they even have the helmets for? They never wear them, you know? There's a lot in this show. And I just, I don't want to give it all away, but eventually um, they have to have a standoff with the Covenant on their home planet or, or this holy planet or whatever. I don't know whose planet it is, the Prophet's planet. I'm not sure. Uh, really good battle kind of at the end of the season. Now, I love this show, guys. I think Halo fans, you know, there's a lot for you to love in this. And there's a little bit, like I say, it does get a little slow and the action scenes are kind of few and far between. They're really fun when they happen but they're really few and far between. Also to get more backstory into the Spartans, if you've only played the games, you know, it gives you a little more uh, backstory and super interesting. And I, I thought it looked great, really great effects and uh, really looked great in 4K. And I thought the show was a lot of fun. I just think it needs a lot more action, to be honest. Like, I think it'd be so much great. But I imagine this show had to cost a lot of money to put together. And those action scenes had to to really cost a lot of money too. And so if you guys are into this show, you know, be sure to pick it up and support it. Keep the show going. Uh, obviously, especially now more than ever, you know, shows you like need your support. And so I really enjoyed this one, guys. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. Like I really liked it. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts though, down in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed for more videos, check the show's videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, the video is done, choose another video. Still here? Subscribe, and visit my social media links.